internet! Today I'm gonna talk about my top five current TV shows. Like, I will not give you my top five TV shows of all time because I can't choose, but the shows that are on air or on Netflix right now and that I follow and enjoy the most, I am going to give you that. So this is in no particular order because I cannot pick a favorite because they're all my favorites, but you know. Uh, number one is uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I've talked about this already, but I thought I'd like show you some more about what I like with it. So like for example, I'm gonna just pick one character. All of the characters are amazing and I love them so much, but I'm gonna choose Terry. Um, he is the sergeant of the police precinct and he is like a super muscly dude and you'd think that that would mean something. I don't know what you'd think that would mean, but he is such a great guy. He is like a prime example of non-toxic masculinity. He is an amazing father and so loving and I just a great friend to everyone and I love him so much and of course he's super funny because everyone is super funny they are so funny ah so that was an example of why I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine there are so many reasons you can go back and watch my last video where I talk a bit more about it not a lot but you know a little number two is Killjoys Killjoys uh, is a sci-fi show that is, if I haven't done my research wrong, I did some research. Not for this, but just in general, because I'm a nerd. It's based on a comic and it really shows because the world building is expansive and amazing and there are like made up words and things, things that I love about sci-fi. An example of something that I love from Killjoys is the main character, Dutch. She is the team leader and she has a dark past and is kick-ass and amazing and I love her. And also her relationship both with Johnny who is like her best friend and with Davin who is Johnny's brother and sort of her romantic interest sometimes and sometimes not, but also always her friend. Both of those relationships are amazing and I just love the humanity in this show, it's so good. Number three, Winona Earp. So Winona Earp is, when I first heard about it, it was described as supernatural but with a woman in the lead. And I feel like that is sort of an accurate description in that she fights demons and that's similar to supernatural but at the same time like I love Winona Earp so much more than I love Supernatural and I don't feel like you can compare the two at all. That's, yeah. So I'm not gonna use that comparison. It's, uh, she is the heir of Wyatt Earp, the fastest gunslinger in the West. And there's been a curse placed on the Earps from back when Wyatt Earp was alive. And there are demons and she has to kill them and she's destined to end the curse. Or, no, she's not actually destined to end the curse, she's supposed to fight to try to end the curse and it's sort of impossible, but yeah. And there are a lot of amazing characters and I love the family that they make, which is always a thing that I love in TV shows when they do that. I also love Winona's sister Waverly. She starts out the show with like this asshole boyfriend and then she breaks up with him and then she falls in love with this deputy and she is super cute and they are both super cute together and it's amazing and you should watch it! Yes! <laughs> Number four is The Good Place which I haven't finished yet it, the first season was on Netflix so I like went through that in a kick and then I started watching the second season but it's not on Netflix and I sort of want to watch it on Netflix so I'm waiting impatiently for it to show up there so I've seen like half the second season so I don't know how it ends so don't spoil me 
it's a comedy, sort of, but it's also, like, super serious and philosophical and quirky and amazing. Uh, the Good Place is where you go when you die if you've been a good person. And the main character, Eleanor, uh, she wakes up and she's in the good place and first she's like, sure, cool. Uh, and then it turns out that she has been a bad person her whole life and she doesn't understand why she's there. And there are so many plot twists and so many amazing characters. You should watch it. I feel like I'm gonna say that about all the shows I'm talking about. So, you know, be prepared because there's one more and you might not be ready for that. Um, <laughs> number five is The Gifted and I've mentioned this before and I don't actually know if there's gonna be a second season so I'm not sure if this counts as a current one or not. I have to look that up. I haven't done my research. But anyway, The Gifted is about mutants like in the X-Men, but not the X-Men, other mutants. <laughs> yeah, basically uh, two kids discover that they are mutants or actually the sister knows and then it turns out that her brother is also a mutant and he sort of destroys the school and like the agency that is out to control all mutants and like put them in jail if they do anything wrong, they come after them so they run away with their mom and it turns out that their dad is like a prosecutor that prosecutes mutants but he also runs away with them because he loves his children and it's, it's a very good journey thing uh, and there's a like a mutant underground organization that they contact and there are some known faces from the X-Men universe in that underground thing like Sunspot and Blink and Warpath and yeah uh, a lot of good people and I would say that I I have only watched like four episodes of this because I sort of want to savor it it's very strange but so far I've like enjoyed this TV show more than I've enjoyed any of the X-Men films. So that's a lot because I love my X-Men and it's good to finally see them in a way that I like. I might get back on that when I've finished the season and know if there's gonna be more. So yeah. Okay so that was my top five. I might have forgotten something really important and in that case I am sorry to my future self that it's gonna be upset. But what are you gonna do? Next week I might do my top five non-current TV shows. And on, I think it's on the 29th, like next Sunday I'm gonna watch Infinity War. So after that I'm gonna do a review on that because I'm excited. If you are interested in following my rewatch of the Marvel films until then, I am gonna, I tweet about it on Twitter, so it's gonna be somewhere. But I have like 10 films left and only a week and a half to do it, so who knows if that's gonna work out. Netflix removed Winter Soldier before I could watch it, so now I have to pay for it and that's upsetting. Okay, I will see you in a week. Please like and subscribe me. <laughs> Bye! Today I'm gonna give you my top five podcasts. That's not what I'm doing. Yes. Let's try this again. <clears throat> I feel like that was not a good sentence, but whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Non-toxic masculinity. Mas masculinity. Masculinity. Uh, number two. How do you... Number two. <laughs>